we start in an Eaton County courtroom tonight where former MSU President Luana K. Simon appeared for the first day of her preliminary exam. Simon faces two felony and two misdemeanor charges accused of lying to police during the course of the Larry Nasser investigation. If convicted, she faces up to four years in prison. The charges stem from statements she made to investigators where Simon said she did not know Nasser was the subject of a 2014 Title IX complaint. Our Aaron Jordan was in court today. He's here for you now live in our studio. What else happened today, Aaron? Well, Sherry and Lauren, both sides tried to paint the other as the one who made false statements. Prosecutors say Simon lied to protect the university and was told about Nasser in 2014 by one of her senior advisors, Paulette Russell. Her attorneys say detectives were the ones who made false statements when they say documents with Nasser's name were shown to Simon. Paulette Russell has in five times under oath said she never even mentioned the name Nasser or discussed the name ever in 2014 or 2015 with Luana Simon. And Simon's attorney, Mayor Morgan Roth, went on to say the charges against Simon were a political move by former Attorney General Bill Schuette, saying they interviewed Simon and decided to charge her just before the election. The charges were officially brought two weeks after the November vote. It was decided to charge her before the election took place. Once it took place, they were on hook. A spokesman for current Attorney General Dana Nessel did not directly address those claims, but says her office takes the charges seriously. We are not taking these charges lightly, but we are committed to the facts, and we're going where the facts take us, and we're loyal to the truth. Survivor of Larry Nassar's abuse, Amanda Tomashow, was the only witness to testify during today's hearing. She says the university failed to help her when she reported the assault, and she says she still feels the effects of it to this day. I've lost trust and faith in the university that I um, grew up worshiping. I can't be alone with men. I uh, have anxiety attacks every time I go to the doctor. Now, the purpose of these hearings is to figure out if there's enough evidence to send Simon to trial. The judge did not make that ruling today. Both sides agreed to delay the rest of the proceedings until April to give both sides more time for discovery. We will, of course, be there when the hearings pick back up. Sherry Lauren, back to you. Thank you, Aaron. Now, Amanda Thomas-Show was not the only survivor of Larry Nasser in the courtroom this morning. Several other abuse survivors were also there to show their support as she testified. Survivor Amanda Smith tweeted out that she was proud to stand behind Thomas Show and that the world needs more people like her. MSU Associate Professor of Criminal Justice Christina DeJong also took to Twitter thanking Thomas Show for testifying and saying it's important to remember how the university failed the Nasser survivors. Stay with 6 News as we continue to follow every development in the fallout from the Larry Nasser case. We'll have complete coverage both on air and online.